Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm excited because I am going to my first ever TK Maxx. I've been saying TJ Maxx, and I think that is a different store in the USA. But I'm going to TK Maxx. And I'm pretty sure that Shane Dawson just did a series about TK Maxx and also other discount stores that sell makeup. And allegedly, people who return makeup that's been used, the shop just puts it back straight on the shelf to resell. So I thought I would go and see what TK Maxx is all about, but also look at the makeup and see if that happens here in Australia. Because this TK Maxx just opened up about two weeks ago. Um, it's the first one ever in WA, which is the state that I live in, in Australia. And the city I am in is the most isolated city in the world, which is Perth. So I'm here in the car park. It took me an hour to get here. Um, it is currently 10.30 in the morning and my hair is looking very long. I might actually get it cut today, but I'm here. I'm excited to do some shopping. I've, I've been seeing some people do TikTok videos of like going to the store and stuff. And the candle section looks amazing and I've run out of candles. So I want some candles. Obviously I want to look at the makeup and just anything else basically, because I've been watching a lot of TK Maxx and TJ Maxx and Marshall Halls and all that on the US, like YouTubers that I follow on their channels. But I'm excited to see what Australia has to offer. I have parked on the rooftop because, you know, natural light is the best to film in, but it is hot. So let's get inside and I will try and vlog a little bit. It's probably going to be busy in there because it's still quite a new store. Um, I did choose a weekday to go to. So hopefully there's no kids and stuff there because I hate kids. I mean, yeah, no, I hate kids. And um, hopefully I can vlog a little bit. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so this is me entering TK Maxx. The layout of the store is a little confusing. I start with these bags. I saw these very high-end bags behind a locked like, cabinet. This one's almost $3,000. We've got some Gucci. We've got some Givenchy. And we've got some other bags now these you have to actually ask for assistance to see if you want to touch them we've got some christian louboutin wallets and stuff like that they're not for me they're out of my price range and i didn't like the style now these bags i'm just showing you some of them have stains or marks on them already i like the color of that orange but that bag style is not for me i'm looking for like a clutch that i can take on date night where i can put my phone and my keys in instead of having them um, on the table because I hate having them in my pocket when I'm sitting down But I couldn't find anything But I just want to show you what type of bags they have in these stores Some of them are really nice. We've got some um, Tommy Hilfiger bags. We've got some other name brand bags But this Tommy Hilfiger bag um, It felt very cheap It was very light and Very cheap so I was like no not for me but I also like a thicker strap because, you know, I like to carry a lot of things in my bags. Then we've got some classic black little handbags. So this is the bag section, mainly all for women. We have like a, another bag section that's for gym, gym bags and stuff like that, but not for me. We've got some Gucci and some other um, high-end items. Some sunglasses, purses. But again, not for me. I just want to show you some of the prices of the items in the locked up area. All right, now we're in the skincare and makeup section. So they've got these Disney face masks that I really like. And then we've got some like hand cream sets and stuff like that. I didn't buy any of these, but they are very cute. I saw Pixie and I've not tried Pixie ever. Um, we don't have a big Pixie selection now so far as, but I was really excited to see this. And then we've got a whole lot of other masks and scrubs here. I actually didn't mind their, their skincare range. They have a really big section. Makeup a bit less, but quite a big skin care section. We've got brushes, nails, and all that type of stuff. Sponges, some more brushes. I didn't buy any sponges or brushes just because I have so many. But I do like the color of the um, sponges. some more sponges and brushes now i want to show you these i really like the color of them 
and the price is not bad. $13 for four sponges. I just don't like how they're indented. So I put them back on the shelf. Now this makeup bag, I really, really like. I really like this one. I just, it's caught my eye and it's got like cherries on it. I just really like the holographic nature of it. Very pretty. They have a lot of bags there. And for $13, that's not a bad bag. I like it. And then guys, we are on to some more bags. I like the bags, but I didn't buy any in the end. We've got some lashes and some mascaras here. Now, you know I don't wear mascaras. They're just not my thing. But I love a dramatic lash. And I saw these ones, and I'm like, ooh, girl, for $6. Look how fluffy they are. So pretty. I have not tried that brand, so I did pick up one of those. We also have some other lashes, but I just didn't like the band, so I put them back. But yeah, we we don't have the huge amount of lashes and some mascaras. I didn't even look at them because I don't use them. Here we have some lip products, some little like lip kits. I don't think I bought any lip stuff. You'll have to see at the end of the video to see what I bought. Then we have the makeup section. So we've got some nail stuff, some lip balms on the top. We've got some other lip products at the top there. Now, I didn't buy any lip products because I was like, some are open and I just don't know what's been tested or not. And then we've got some eyeshadow palettes. Now, I was a little disappointed about the selection, but also how little, like, brands there are. There was a lot of the same brands. So I was a little, a little upset, but I wanted to show you what the palettes look like on the shelf. So this one's not sealed. You can just open it. I didn't really like that. It didn't look like it'd been used, but I was like, mm, no thanks. Also, it gives me very Huda Beauty, like, neutral vibes. And I was like, it's a pretty palette, but I put that one back. This one here is sealed, and it's in a box compared to the other one. So you can see the stickers on both ends sealed, and it's a very neutral palette as well. It's pretty. I just don't know this brand, and but the packaging is stunning. But I, I didn't get it in the end. We have this one here, it's sealed as well. I didn't get it, $8 though, so it's a face palette. The shades just look too dark for me. We have a little lip kit, this felt very cheap and I was like, I'm not even going to try and buy this. Like I just could see, I probably would not use any of those shades or like the formula, because it, it was very cheaply made. This one here is Makeup Revolution, to three pan. I don't know if it's an eyeshadow powder or face powder, it was not for me. And then we have, like, I saw this Pixie. I really love the colour of that. But I just don't trust lip products that are not, like, sealed with stickers or anything. And this one wasn't. So I was like, no, thank you. And then we have some sealed palettes. So I actually really like Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow formula. This was really pretty. It was sealed in plastic, so it was brand new. $13, not a bad price. Then we have this one here. $10.00. I didn't mind the colour story of that either. It was sealed as well. We had this beautiful... I love the packaging of this on the box. It's so pretty. And it's sealed. And not a bad price either. Now, this palette... I actually bought the silver version of this palette when it came out like three years ago. So, I didn't get that one. And then we have some bigger palettes at the bottom, which I was not interested in. So that's most of the makeup there, not too much. This nine pan eyeshadow palette is actually really cute, but very neutral. So I didn't end up getting it, but I actually really like that one. And if I didn't have a lot of palettes like that, I would have picked that one up. We have this little set. Now it would be perfect for a little girl or boy who likes to play with makeup. It has like a little highlighter set, that bronzer, and then it's got some lip products. It's very cute, great for a Christmas present. So that's most of the makeup all done. And then we've got this whole wall of hand soaps, soaps, hair, stuff. There's a lot of skincare and lotions and moisturizers, a whole wall. These, this caught my eye. It's Italian lemon soap. I love how it's made into like lemons. And it smells really, really nice. Now, that's not a glass container. It's plastic, so you can recycle that. And it just feels better because I don't want to drop it or break it. We have a lot of lotions and stuff like that. I like my soaps in the shower, like bars of soaps to use. And then I like foaming 
hand soaps. I just like the foaming aspect. So a lot of these were not foaming, so I didn't get a lot of those. Then we have hair care. Now, I've always wanted to couple these, like, headbands because I do, um, do moisturizer and stuff like that. But also, when I'm doing um, special effects or face paints, I get my hair in the paint all the time. So I need something to push my hair back. So I'm just looking at all the colors and styles. And then the pricing, I think that was $5, not a bad price. You can rewash a lot of these, so that's good. And they all come in different styles and stuff. Then we've got the face rollers. I used to have one of these, but I just don't use it, so I got rid of it. And then eye masks as well. This is the wellness section. So they've got like all the essential oils and stuff like that. I don't really like essential oils. I prefer cologne um, and I prefer to burn actual candle over like incense or oils. That's just my preference. Now we're in the home goods section. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, this is pretty cool. Zitzy dog. So it like makes a hole in your bun for the hot dog. I'd never seen that. So I just want to show you on camera. And we've just got more stuff. Now this, I love tea. Um, now that it's coming to summer, I love to drink um, fruit tea. So I make it and then I put it in the fridge and drink it when it's cold. And this is just a cute set. It came with like a glass tea pot with all the little flavoured fruit teas. And I just wanted to show you that. And then we also have this little tea box full of organic fruit teas. And it's got all the flavours on the back. I did show you that upside down, I apologise. So for $13, you get a lot of teas. So not a bad 60 bags for $13. Do the maths, not bad. So guys, that was the tea options there. They have some more boxes there of teas, but I didn't like the flavours, so I just showed you the ones I liked. Now we're on to candles, and I was upset about the candle section because I'd be watching a lot of people's TikTok saying their candle section is amazing. All the candles that were left smelled like feet or B.O., so... I was a little upset about that because I was hoping to buy like 10 plus candles, but they all smelled like a foot or they all smelled like a wet dog or just shit basically. So I didn't buy any of them. I like the little designs. Like this one has like little green warts all over it, but it smelled like a foot. So I didn't get that in the end. Yeah, $13 for that, not even a good price. So I didn't buy any candles, spoiler alert. I did buy another candle from another store that you can see at the end of this video. But they all smelled like feet and I was like, I'm not wasting my money on these. Very, very, like, I like the idea of fresh pine, but this smelled like a B.O. fresh pine and it wasn't for me, so. Nope, 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 nope. Didn't get any candles. I will show you more candles that they have, but I just... Mm, they have some Disney candle, candles, which I've smelt before. And for the price, they're not worth it, in my opinion. We have some more Christmas decorations and candles. They did have a small uh, Christmas section, but there was a lot of people in it. So I just showed you like three seconds of the display. But it didn't go in there because there's too many people. We've got some Christmas scented candles. They all smell like feet, not nice at all. Santa would not be happy with any of these. That's the Christmas selection there. People in there, I didn't want to go in there. I don't buy anything for Christmas. I don't set things up for Christmas in my house. So I just passed that. We've got some more bags. These are more like your hold all, carry all bag type of things. This is cute though. I like the little design on that one. And then we've got like, actually I looked at this back massager and I was like, oh, treat myself. But I was like, in the end, no, I probably wouldn't use it. So I passed on that. And then we've got like gym bags and backpacks. Again, the store, I didn't look at any of the clothes stuff just because that's not interesting to me. We have some hats. I always love to wear a hat, especially now it's coming into summer. So we've got some different designs of hats. I did buy one, so you'll have to see what one I bought. I'm just looking at the prices and the designs of these ones here. And I actually don't mind them. Very pretty. Red's my favourite colour. And I really like the colour of that one. But did I buy it? Wait and see. Belts. Didn't buy any belts. And then we've got underwear. Oh, naughty section. Underwear. I didn't buy any. 
And then I did look at their sunnies because I need some sunnies. Um, I'd lost my pair when I drive into the sun in the car, but none of these worked for me, so I just passed on to them. Passed on them. I didn't get any is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that is my little vlog of the store. Hi guys, so I'm just in the car now and it's quite warm so I've got the car on and the aircon running. Plus there's this like metal grate that every car hits and it makes a noise. So if you can hear that, there it is. Um, that's what it is. But yeah, I'm in the car, I just had my hair cut so it's a lot better, a lot shorter which is going to be a lot easier for me to maintain. Um, now I did go to the shop TK Maxx, I also went to a couple of other stores um, to look at stuff. I only got one other thing from another store. I did film as much as I could in store, there was a lot of people in there so I was trying to film when there weren't people in the aisles or anything like that. Um, so I did try and film as much as I could. Um, I filmed the makeup section, the like handbag section. They had some really expensive handbags there. Um, the like skincare section, some of the cooking section. I didn't do the clothes or anything because I wasn't even looking at the clothes. I didn't really do the Christmas stuff because there was a ton of people in there. So I kind of showed you what the display kind of looked like of the Christmas section, but it was maybe three seconds. So you might not really see much there. Um, but all in all, it was a good experience. Um, it's quite warm, so I'm gonna get in the car and drive all the way home, which is like an hour away, which is, it's uh, okay, I've got my music, but my phone is dying, so um, I'm just gonna listen to the radio rather than listen to Spotify. My car's quite old, so I can't put Spotify through the speakers on my car. God, those cars. Um, but yeah, it was still a good trip. Hopefully you enjoy the shopping part of this video, whatever beeping up my car because there was a car next to me and the sensors go off um hopefully you enjoyed the kind of footage that i got i might have to do a voiceover because i can't remember if there was music in the store i don't want to get copyright infringement but also i can give you like my little thoughts in a voiceover of the sections of the stores so i might try to do a voiceover um but yeah it is 12 30 now i had lunch God, the food court there is terrible, terrible. There were like four different options. I chose the one that looked the best and the food was not good. It wasn't good, but um, I still had some lunch. So I'm, I'm full and I had a drink, so that helped me fill me up. I'm not gonna just waste away to nothing, which is always, um, you know, a real possibility with me. So yeah, I'm gonna go home and I will see you later in the shopping hole reveal video part of this video yeah that made sense all right i'll talk to you soon bye and guys we are back in my home and i have everything i purchased in the little tj maxx shopping spree this is the bag that everything is in and then i also did get one more thing from another store but i'll show you that at the end so let's jump into it because i don't want this video to be 30 minutes long i didn't get too many things the actual store itself, I don't think it was worth it. It was definitely not worth me driving an hour um, out of my way to go to. And the makeup section, which is what I was really, really interested in, was it, it really wasn't everything that I had hoped for. I was expecting more brands, but there wasn't really that many brands. There was Makeup Revolution and some other drugstore brands, and then a couple other brands that I'd never really um, heard of. and there wasn't very many palettes um, that were different. There was a lot of palettes, but they were all the same. But I did buy some things, so let's get some of the items out. Now, the first two items I got were these little headbands. Now, I, I wanted these because I do skincare, but I also am getting more into face paints and um, creative makeup. But I always get the hair stuck in the face paints that I'm applying. So I wanted something that I can use for skincare, but also... Oh, Gotta cut the tag, but also use to hold my hair back so I don't get all the oil based paints and stuff in my hair when I do creative looks in the future. All right, guys, I cut the little plastic tags off. Now, I did get the red because red's my favorite color, but I also wanted one other one because these are washable. So, when one of these is in the wash, I can use the other one. I'm not gonna lie, it, it doesn't look very like made that well, but let's try it. Hopefully, it actually fits through my head. Oh, that's pretty cute. That will do the job. I mean, I'm gonna get makeup all over it, but that's okay. That 
that actually, that fits pretty well. It's not too tight around my head. Okay, so I've got two of those. $4.99 for both of those. Well, $4.99 each. So I'm happy with those because I have been looking at some and I was actually going to buy some from the Glam Rider website because I had some Shrek ears and donkey ears ones from the Makeup Revolution collection. But I'm glad I got those because they are like $10 cheaper. So happy about that. Then the next item we have is this Vitamin C Collagen Brightening Face Masks. Now, I saw these and I really, really wanted these because I am trying to get back into skincare. I haven't really been doing much, but I am trying to get back into it, especially that it's especially now that it's getting warmer here. Um, so this is the Moisturizing, Restoring, Illuminating 5 Mask Brightening Face Masks. And it says it's like an orange vitamin C one. So that's pretty cool. I paid $10 for these. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like quickly. I'm not going to actually do one now. I just want to show you what the packaging looks like. I've not tried these before. I used to do a lot of face masks, but I haven't done any lately. Okay, these look pretty cool. They're 95% um, natural ingredients, 100% a vegan formula made in Korea. And we all know Korea has the best skincare. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to try that. Oh, and you can actually, you can smell the orange. Okay, happy about that. So that's item number two. Then we have this. Now I love tea, I love uh, fruit teas. And now that it's becoming summer here in Australia, where I live, um, I got this little tea bundle. So this is the Touch Organic Touch Organic Fruit Tea Tub. So it has a whole lot of different flavours. Is that upside down? Yeah, that's upside down. It's got the price tag on the back as well, but it has all these different flavours. And I just want to show you what it looks like. I love fruit teas. I usually um, brew these obviously hot and then I let them cool down and put it in the fridge. So when I come back from a hot day out in the sun, I can have some fruit tea with some ice in it and it's just very refreshing oh okay that's pretty cool i thought they were going to be like individual little sacks but wow there's actually a lot of teas in here so this one here is the mango um we have jasmine tea which is this one here and, and oh, the smell coming from this box is so nice then we have green tea which i love and it is healthy for you. And then lastly, we have the strawberry um, mint tea, which sounds very nice. There's a lot of teas there, so that's gonna keep me um, busy all summer. Drink-wise, happy about that. And a good price too, um, $13 for all of those teas. Not bad, not bad. Don't know how many, oh, 60 tea bags. So what's that? That's 60 divided by 13 is, quick math, I don't know, but it's good value, guys, great value. Then guys, we did pick up these lashes. I only picked up one of these. These were $6 and I picked them up because I love a good dramatic lash. And I just thought, let's try these ones out. I really like how black they are, but also the band looks nice and thick. So um, easy to work with. I prefer a thicker band to put more glue on. And yeah, for $5 or $6, not a bad price. So pick those up to try. We have four items left. Let me get them all out and then I can get rid of this bag. We've got two eyeshadow palettes, a jar of soap, and then we also have this skincare um, collagen plumping mask. And this is from Pixie. Now, I've never tried anything from Pixie. There is um, some of the Pixie products in the Sephora's here, but that's mainly the skincare items. I've always wanted to try the actual eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, highlighters, and blushes, but they don't really have very many. Um, options. They've only got the cream bronzers and um, cream blushes and they have never been my favourite. So I wanted to try this. This is the Collagen Plumping Mask and it does retail for $17. Um, and I just think, why not? Why not try this? Because I saw it and I was like, you know what? It's not opened from what I can tell, hopefully. And I've always wanted to try this brand. It has 45 mils of Collagen Plumping Mask. So I'm going to read the directions, but I'm assuming you just put this on. Oh, it says all skin types, use as needed, apply a thin layer all over and leave on to absorb. Okay, so you leave it on. Okay, happy about that. Does that have a seal on it though? It is sealed, which is good. So it's brand new, happy about that. There was some boxes that were ripped um, of some lip 
products, which I didn't want to buy any of the products because you never know if it's been tried or tested. But that one does have a seal, so I'm happy about that. Then, guys, we do have two eyeshadow palettes. Now, I bought these ones because these were sealed. These are sealed, or at least this one's sealed in plastic. And the color story on this one here looks very pretty. So this is the Makeup Revolution's Mermaid Forever palette. It has 32 ultra professional eyeshadows in it. So um, let's open it up. It retails for $13, which I think is a pretty good price because these palettes can go up to uh, $25 to $30 um, at price line. And I didn't actually see this one. I actually do like Makeup Revolution's eyeshadow formula and also their um, bronzes, blushes, and highlighters. So I'm excited about this one. And because it was sealed, I knew it hadn't been touched. But sometimes these do come broken, so I'm really hoping this one isn't. All right, so this is what it looks like. It comes in a little black sleeve. Now, I was expecting the packaging of the palette to be blue, but it's actually black has a really good weight to it. it, has a little bit of dust on it, so I feel like maybe one of the shadows is broken. But let's see. Oh, okay, no, it's not broken, and wow. Okay. The pan sizes in this palette are a lot smaller than I was expecting. And less vibrant than I was expecting. But it does have a good range of some cool tone neutrals on the end here and then we've got some pastel pastel type of shade so that's not too bad the pan sizes I thought they'd be a little bit bigger I like to apply my shimmers with my finger and I feel like I might mix some of the shades together when I'm trying to pick up one shade with a finger because my finger is quite big but the actual color story is very pretty it is very pretty we do have the shade names on this I'm gonna lose this piece of plastic so that won't be on there for long but i am going to test out that palette and um for 13 dollars it's not a bad not a bad buy not a bad buy happy about that and then we have this other makeup revolution or xx revolution beauty london eyeshadow palette this is the gold crush eyeshadow palette and retails for 12.99 and i bought this because there is um, a sticker on each end so i'm hoping this hasn't been opened and i'm hoping all the shades are okay I saw this and it kind of reminds me of like a neutral Huda Beauty palette. Very Huda Beauty inspired shades in this palette. Oh God, I can't open. There we go. And I also like the packaging. I think the gold packaging is very nice. So let's see this. Now I always look at the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes at Priceline and I've not seen this one or the other one. So I was excited to actually see a palette that I hadn't seen. And I love the foiled effect on this packaging, like really pretty. Let's see how big the pan sizes are. Oh, that's actually really pretty. That's really pretty. Pan sizes aren't the biggest, but they are a bit bigger. And it looks like it's a bait formula because the actual shades are raised, almost like a pyramid in the pan. So it looks like it's a baked formula. We have some beautiful gold shimmers. Oh my god, they are so creamy. So, so creamy. And this swatch are actually really nice. That gold is very, very pretty. Love that one. Let's swatch this really deep bronzy gold. Oh, that one's pretty as well. And that swatch is like butter. Look at that. That's really pretty. Okay, so this palette, definitely, definitely worth the money in my opinion from the two swatches and also the packaging itself is very nice and I'm quite happy I picked that up. It does have like a, almost like a cloth packaging, like it feels like cloth on the outside. Um, yeah, I'm happy about that. Very happy about those two palettes. So they're the only two palettes that I picked up. There were a few other palettes that you saw me open, but I just didn't really like the color story. I haven't actually tried those brands, so I didn't want to waste my money on something I haven't tried. But the Makeup Revolutions, I am actually quite happy with some of the eyeshadow palettes that I own from that brand, so I thought I would be safe with these two palettes. And so far, I'm pretty happy with them. Now, the last item from TJ Maxx is this beautiful jar. It is plastic. A jar of lemon-shaped soaps. So this is the Italian Lemons, the finest triple milled soaps. And I'm assuming it's in the lemon scent. I didn't actually open this. I didn't realize you could just open it. Oh my God, I love lemon and this smells, this smells like just pure lemon juice. Oh my God, that smells so cool. And it looks like an actual lemon. Look at that. 
that is so cool. Now, I love using soap in the shower. I like to actually use bars of soap, and I love lemon-scented um, products or citrus-scented products, so this is perfect for me. Now, this retailed for $16, $17, $16.99, and you get a whole lot of soaps. This is gonna last me all year, so I'm very, very happy with that. And the scent, when you open this, it just smells amazing, and I just actually really like this as a display piece. Like, this looks really, really cool. Um, it does have like a 12 months expiry date, but these will be used by then. Made in Italy, which is pretty cool. Never tried soap from Italy that I can recall. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try those. And I saw the jar and I was like, I need to, I need to see these. And for $17, I mean, you're getting, you're probably getting 17 soaps at least in this jar. So you're really paying like a dollar for each soap, which is a bargain in my opinion for the smell and the actual little packaging it comes in like the lemon shaped packaging it's pretty cool all right so that was everything from tk max lastly i was really disappointed in the candle section at tk max i smelled a lot of candles um and they smelled like feet or sweat and just not very nice um so i treated myself and i went to dusk because they had a sale and if you don't know, Dusk is like a candle store here in Australia, pretty big, had quite a lot of stores. And I bought this um, great, great grappa melon, sorry, candle. I smelt it and I'm like, I need to have this. And it was 30% off. So I um, did get to save some money when I purchased it. I smelled a whole lot of candles because I love, I love to have a candle burning. I like the packaging comes in, like the little green packaging. It is a soya candle. And guys, the smell of this just, it smells like lemon and cucumber all mixed together and like grapes and almost like bubble gum as well. Oh, it smells so good. As soon as I saw this and I saw it was 30% off, I had to buy one. I would have bought more, but I think this was the last one that I could see on the shelf. That a whole lot of other um, scented ones, but this one was just one that I had to have. So I'm very happy that I actually did end up buying candle. I've used up all the candles in my house. I've been um, at home a lot lately and I love to have a candle when I'm cleaning especially. I always have a candle on just because I like to clean the room but I also like the room to smell clean as well. So I like to have a candle on when I'm cleaning in the kitchen or in my bedroom either way. Um, especially when I'm folding washing. I just like to have a nice smell. Um, you know, when I'm watching YouTube and stuff. It's just my romantic time with myself and my washing and folding it and putting all the socks and stuff away. So yeah guys, that was everything I got today at TK Maxx. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a brand new video. Until next time guys, stay safe and I'll see you later. On one up, bye!